Hello and welcome to the Trade Ideas Trading Room Recap for Tuesday, March the 17th. My name is Barry Anderson. I am the moderator of the Trading Room. This is the address to get in and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. Well, today for me was a was an awful day, <laughs> to be honest. Um, you know, I took a few trades, uh, had a lot of small losses and a couple of little gains, but I suppose it was probably marked by the one that really got away, which if you're in the room, you know the one I'm talking about. I'll, I'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the trades. Uh, TKMR was uh, was early. Uh, it was one of the ones that was uh, popping uh, right off the bat, so it came in my uh, strong trades uh, window. I waited for this little pullback, looked good, and it popped over the... Um, uh, let's see what is this right here it's about 20 so it was over the whole number and I took the trade right here at uh, 2041 I sold here at uh, 2061 but there was absolutely no continuation and I ended up selling the last half uh, basically at my break even so you know really nothing happened uh, after uh, you know this this initial pop and I have to say that a lot of people of course are sitting on hands I believe because of the FOMC uh, minutes tomorrow uh, everybody says this is eagerly anticipated, uh, you know, it depends on what language they use uh, is going to dictate whether or not uh, interest rates, I guess, will be uh, raised um, earlier than so or sooner than later. So uh, I think a lot of people are just kind of nervous and uh, not wanting to do much. So the, this is, you know, typically when you get this chop, I think tomorrow is going to be a lot worse. Uh, we might get it in the first hour. We may get some trading opportunities. And then I think it's going to be really, really tough to find things. The next one was uh, LUK, and you know I had high, definitely had high hopes for LUK. This came on the this was on my bouncers list. Uh, one of the frustrating ones that I did miss was NOAA. I know some people in the room got it, uh, and this this NOAA really uh, worked out well. Let me just uh, show you how well it did work out, NOAA. And here's here's the bounce area, and you know you might have got out here on this pullback, but if you'd been able to hold on, I mean this is and this is still running, so that was a tremendous bounce play. I only had uh, four of them all day. Uh, I tried this one, Luck L U uh, L U K. Let's uh, take a look at it, and. You know, again, I thought I thought this one was going to be great because uh, this is the whole number right here at 23. Uh, it was holding it beautifully, had a nice drop, holding it beautifully, got into the trade right here at 23.11, and you know, again, even afterwards, it was tr it was touching uh, the whole number, but it kept bouncing off it, and you know, it kept waiting. We kept waiting for this to just to start to rock it up, and it unfortunately just didn't happen, and I exited right at the whole number at 23, so I took a loss there. Uh, H X L H X L. Oh, I don't have it marked up. Um, H X L is on my, yeah, it's on my lifetime high. Got the alert at $49 and, you know, pretty choppy, really choppy around here. But then once it got, once it got through, oh, I do have it marked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long day. Uh, on this candle, it got through the whole number again. And because there it is, there's where I would have got the first alert. And so I was waiting for it to break through again. And it happened a little too quickly for me, to be honest. I mean, it really zoomed up. And, you know, I would have really liked to have taken it up here if it had a few more candles and then a pop. Anyway, decided to take the trade right there at uh, 49.20 and had, a, you know, a little bit of a pop, but nothing much. And I exited. I held on through here. Uh, watch it get back up here, but then on this on this sell off, this tail right there said, you know what, the sellers are taking over again, and I decided to exit the trade right there at 49.11. So again, not a big loss, but just you know, kind of frustrating. This is one that was uh, pretty frustrating for me. Uh, VDSI, VDSI was a strong stock. Uh, it's still, it, you know, it's still strong and all. And I took the trade. It broken through the whole number. Here's uh, the whole number at uh, 23 right there. I ended up taking the trade a little bit late at uh, 23.29, but it looked like it, you know, had the momentum. Here's the volume, or here, here, you know, the volume was starting to pick up a little bit on this bar here. Took the trade right here at uh, 23.29. Had an, a nice pop up to 23.56, but I missed it. It just happened so well. It okay. It it was working right there, and then it uh, and then it continued. And, and I was really hoping that it would. Uh, I wasn't trying to scalp this. I actually stood in the room trying not to scalp this, and then it just uh, collapsed. 
and I exited for no gain at 23.29 at my buy. Kept watching it, watching it, and again, when it uh, popped through 23, decided to take the trade again, and it, uh, you know, a little bit of a rise, but, you know, unfortunately, this little candle action right there as it was starting to uh, move down, because remember now, we don't see this. Well, all we see is a red candle coming down, and I thought, okay, you know, I, I just, I better get out of it, and so it shook me out, and then, you know, a little bit later on, it, uh, you know, it popped up to 23.40, but it's, again, look at this. This is just chopping around, so no really great trade there. DD DuPont. Uh, DuPont was on the bouncer list, too, and again, you know, kind of ticked that I missed Noah. Uh, luck didn't work out, but I was going to take DD, and DD... Again, the same sort of thing. Nice uh, continuous down action. A little bit of consolidation right here. Looked good. It tried to pop a couple of times. Uh, 74.83 right there. Took the trade at uh, 74.76 right there. It popped up, but then it came right back down uh, at 74.69. It decided to exit it. And, you know, look, I mean, it's down to 74.34 here. Definitely, definitely would have uh, been stopped out. So, again, happy for the stop that I put in place on any weakness because, again, you know, on these bouncers, if they don't start working almost immediately, I generally am quick to exit. I don't hold on because I, I just don't have any faith that for the reason that they were going down, it could just start again immediately. So unless unless they have a, a strong pop and then a continuation, I'm usually out of these bounce plays pretty quickly. And, again, all this chopping action. Uh, BBBY or BBY. Well, you know, it was a bit of a game. Uh, a mat in the room indicated that, uh, I think right here that the BB, BBY was on CNBC. And, you know, in the last couple of times he has said that the, uh, the stocks have really taken off. So I decided to take uh, some right here at, uh, 70, uh, sorry, 4171. And I ended up selling it up here at 4181. Nothing great. Was really hoping that it might, uh, you know, go through 42 and continue. But, you know, obviously whatever they were talking about didn't, uh, didn't really excite people that much. AAL was the last trade, uh, the one I cried uncle on. Again, this is one, um, that, you know, it was strong all day and really by rights I should have taken a stock you know in this area here but I was just kind of missing it you know was wasn't really focused on it but when it broke through 54 and it had a little pullback here um, I thought okay this looks good so took the trade at 5413 uh, but exited at 5403 and again it's just sort of chopped around now the one that everybody was talking about in the room and this ESPR astonishing it looks like it's going to get up to a hundred that's absolutely insane uh it's up 22 dollars as we speak uh and this came on originally came on my um lifetime high list and just a series of them you know at 86 and you know trust me uh again this one only triggers when the lifetime high a lifetime high and around the whole number so i received you know 86 87 88 89 90 you know you know what i'm going to say all the way up to 99 dollars and just couldn't you know I couldn't pull the trigger. Now, you know, there's no way that you had been in the whole time because, I mean, these are some significant uh, uh, pullbacks, uh, $91 down to um, $86. So, I mean, there, you know, there's no way that you would have been in all the way. But nonetheless, this is a uh, one that uh, was just quite unbelievable. And, uh, you know, looks like what, what's the high right now is 99.30. I jokingly said uh, uh, we might see 100, but I was actually really thinking that we'd see it tomorrow. And, and, and then we would see if it could really continue through 100. But, um, you know, so I've said that if tomorrow I get a bio, because it's usually the bios that do this. It's, it's uh, you know, I get these lifetime high alerts. It's not usually... Uh, uh, any of the other types of stocks. It's it's the bios that have this uh, amazing, amazing uh, continuation. If, as long as you can kind of hold on to all this froth, you can make a lot of money in these. But anyway, we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. But I'm not going to hold my breath because, again, this FOMC at 2 o'clock, uh, maybe in the first hour we might get some action. But after that, I think it's going to be really, really tough to find some trades. But, uh, you know, keep our fingers crossed. All right, that's it. Uh, let me just bring up the... Uh, Cover sheet. Again, here's how to get into the room and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account and I hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow.